Hi, Mayor Chris Watts here. I want to express my condolences to the Floyd family on the death of their family member, George Floyd, who was killed at the hands of those who are sworn to protect and to serve. I too am angered and saddened and outraged at that senseless killing and continue to be committed to the reform necessary to ensure that that doesn't happen again. I wanted to just take a few moments to share with you the reasons for me signing a declaration of emergency in order to establish a curfew here in certain parts of our city from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. I met on May the 31st with Chief Dixon and City Manager Todd Heilman here at City Hall to have a briefing on what the police chief had said had been certain posts and certain activities that caused him concern regarding the safety of our citizens as they peacefully protest and share their anger and sadness at the death of George Floyd. In that, he laid out some examples of bricks on the square that seemed to appear mysteriously and could not be accounted for. And we know that oftentimes uh, groups will hide those type of materials and then uh, use them to throw through glass windows and the like. Additionally, there were posts uh, about someone saying that they want to kill cops. And then a couple of days later talking about the protests here in Denton. There were threads where Molotov cocktails were used in the same sentence or the same thread, social media thread, as the Selby House in our historic park there off of Carroll Boulevard. Now some may just dismiss those as puffery and some may just say that those can't be taken seriously, but the police chief and I take those very seriously because the safety of our citizens is paramount. So we executed that order uh, for seven days. Understanding that some disagree with that, understanding that some believe that it's premature, stating that we should wait until it's needed. It's either gonna to be too early, it's gonna to be too late. I would rather stand to make it something too early so that we can at least provide some kind of opportunity for our law enforcement and our citizens to be able to peacefully protest. Some say the order is going to deter people from being able to peacefully protest. That is not the case. People are still allowed to peacefully gather and share their thoughts, their experiences, and their passion and their rage about what occurred and what's had occurred over the last few decades. I understand that the businesses on the square are struggling because they're just reopening from the uh, stay in place order from the COVID-19 pandemic. I hear those concerns, I understand those concerns, and I appreciate their support. I just know that what we have to do is provide every opportunity and possibility to protect our citizens, to protect life, and to protect property. In no way is this order meant to say or imply that the citizens of our city will be violent or have civil unrest during these peaceful protests. That is not it, that is not the case. The police chief, his duty is to protect the citizens of this community. He shared his concerns with me and he asked me for his help. And therefore I executed that order on May the 31st. We will continually review that order based upon developing information and make any changes that are needed accordingly. Thank you so much.